right? And, no. and if, if I think, I you know, about yeah, and I'll let me finish this, this, my little thought here real quick. And then, um, so if you're the kind of person, not you, James, but like watching this, if you're the kind of person that is uncomfortable with the idea of um, having a, some upfront struggles, having costs out of your pocket and time and money and resources to get become an independent adjuster, uh, even though you are drawn to the potential income, um, that getting that potential, getting that to that, that income level that you hear about and you see people talk about on on social media requires a lot, a lot of work. Okay. And you may not to say that going and being a staff adjuster means you're not going to do like a lot of work. I think it's still super challenging on the staff side from what I've heard and what I've experienced when I did it. Um, but it's a lot more of a, you get trained and you get start, you get, you know, as soon as you hire on and here's your start date, you start drawing a paycheck. Like that's, you're getting paid no matter what's going on. There could be no storms. It could be all the storms. Right. So it's, it's in that respect, and I don't think in every respect, but in that respect, it is more secure. If you're that kind of person that's uncomfortable with, with like a high degree of change, challenge, and you're required to be on call. And when they call and they say, hey, we need you to go to Minneapolis, we need you to go to, to Des Moines or whatever, you drop everything and you go, even though it's your wife's birthday in 15 minutes, you know, jump in the truck and go. You've got to. That's, that's what you have to do as an independent adjuster. If you don't like that, it could be. That staff is for you. Thoughts? So my thought is that uh, if you were thinking about becoming a staff adjuster, now would be the time to do it. If you're thinking about getting into yeah, this business for, and you're not sure. sure, or you're just not sure 100 percent if this is for you, or or you, you like the idea of being an adjuster, you don't know what direction to go. If, if I were coming into, if with what I know about the industry right now, if I were coming into the industry today, I would focus on probably becoming a staff adjuster because number one is it's slow. We didn't get the big storm so far this year. So you have all of these staff people that are sitting around for all these different companies. So rather than sending work out to the IA firms, they're handling everything in house. Okay. So therefore there's a lot less work out there for the IAs. There's not fewer claims out there right now. The claim volumes are there. Okay. There's just more staff people to take care of it. That's why you're seeing a lot less work from a lot of your bigger companies. Now, on the flip side of that is these companies are hiring, okay? Um, even though they're using their staff and spreading them out all over the place, they're still hiring, especially, like you said, the big red one. They're hiring. Go in there and get that experience. Learn how to do it. Learn how to be efficient within their system. Get paid. I mean, all the, I mean, we always talk about state farm certifications, everything else, and all state certifications and AFAM and everything else. You go to work for a big company like that, you're going to get indoctrinated into their system. You're going to use it every single day. You're going to know what you're doing. Yeah. And if the date comes one day where you decide that, hey, I don't want to be staff anymore and you want to go out and be an independent, okay, and then your first opportunity is to jump out on one of their hurricanes, guess what? Guess who's going to be the most efficient guy in the room? It's cake. It's cake. You will go out there and clean up yeah. and, and, make, and make all kinds of money. So I think this is the great time to get paid training. You know, and learn how to do it. That is, if you're the kind of person that wants to become an employee. I mean, that's that's it. Right. You have to determine. You know, do you want to do you want to stay in that rat race? You know, a lot of us like me, we're just not built for that. You know, it's just that's just not the way I'm wired. Right. Is to, I mean, I play well with others, but it's got to be on my terms. You know what I mean? It, it, so it's yep. it it if that's what you're worried about, and that's what you want to do, and you want to get some. But again, you're going to get trained with one company and that one company system. And I will tell you this, okay, everything I learned about working for one very large firm, whenever I went out and did one hurricane for that firm, I've never used their methodology or their estimatics on any other company I've worked with. Okay. They have a different way that they want things done, a different way they want things written up. It's all different. And so if you leave that environment and you go out and you jump out to be an IA, you're almost starting over, except for you do understand some about estimates. You understand how to use an exact mate, but it's a different monkey altogether. So we touched yeah. a lot of area there, but it's this is a good time if you're wanting, if you're thinking about it. This is a good time to probably do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, the final thing I'll add with this, and it's a caveat, and and that is is that 
you know, this is a, again, a social media question that we see, Hey, should I go, you know, what, I, I got my adjuster license. What should I do now? And then you get like a bunch of people piling on and calling you names and everything. And then you get a bunch of people saying, well, go and work at, a, at an insurance company and be a staff adjuster and let them train you and then quit and become an IA. I don't like that because for a number of reasons I've enumerated in several videos, but the, the long and short of it is, is that I don't think it's fair to the carrier. And I don't think that, I think it's, you can learn um, how to be an adjuster in a much shorter period of time than they're probably going to take to train you, A. And B, um, you know, you need to, in order to, to really, well, I'll put it this way. I think the, the real reason is that in order to really, really gain the, the maximum benefit of going and being a staff adjuster is that you really need to kind of stay there for two, three, four years, a while, like two to five years, I would say, because that's going to give you like, it's, it's the reps. It's the daily reps of claims every single day. That's going to give you that super deep skill set and that, that really, honestly, a, a mastery of all those systems, like you said, Xactimate, you know, you may, if depending, if depending on the carrier, it could be Navigator, ECS, next gen, whatever, right? Um, you learn those systems. And then when you come out doing stuff on the IA side, where it's, it's kind of like, task oriented or you're just going out and photo and you photo scope and write the estimate and you turn it back in and desk adjuster does everything else. It, it's, it's a lot easier. It's way easier, right? Than being a staff adjuster. Fact. You can't handle claims without at least one adjuster license. Fact. Getting a license usually requires taking tests. Fact. Adjuster Pro helps taking the test and getting your first licenses a breeze. Adjusterpro.com is your one-stop shop for getting licensed by all states that license adjusters. Think you can just wait until a deployment comes up to apply for this or that license? Think again. When staffing major storm events, these days IA firms will search their adjuster rosters by who has what license already. If they have a huge storm in Minnesota and you don't have a Minnesota license, you're not going to even show up in that search, which means you're not even going to be called. Fact. The busiest adjusters have the most licenses. Get a discount on your next licenses at adjusterpro.com using code ADJUSTERTV at checkout. Again, that's adjusterpro.com. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 